Hey guys, Godslayer here, and before we start the video, I want to ask you guys to hit that subscribe button. It's free, you can always change your mind. Today's video is based off a comment on a previous video. If you'd like to see your idea become a video, please leave a comment down below of your idea, and I'll check it out. Today we'll be going over the war crimes committed by the CIA during the Cold War. 1947. The CIA is created. President Truman signs the National Security Act of 1947, creating the Central Intelligence Agency. The CIA is accountable to the president. There is no democratic or congressional oversight. This loophole opens the door to covert action and dirty tricks. 1948. The covert action wing is created. Its responsibilities include propaganda, economic warfare, preventative direct action, including sabotage, anti-sabotage, demolition, and evacuation procedures, subversion against hostile states, including assistance to underground resistance groups, and support of indigenous anti-communist elements in threatened countries of the free world. Italy. The CIA corrupts democratic elections in Italy, where Italian communists threaten to win the elections. The CIA buys votes, broadcasts propaganda, threatens and beats up opposition leaders, and infiltrates and disrupts their organizations. It works. The communists are defeated. 1949. Radio Free Europe. The CIA creates its first major propaganda outlet, Radio Free Europe. Over the next several decades, its broadcasts are so blatantly false that for a time it is considered illegal to publish transcripts of them in the United States. 1953. Iran. The CIA overthrows a democratically elected Mohammad Mossad in a military coup after he threatened to nationalize British oil. The CIA replaces him with a dictator, the Shah of Iran, whose secret police, the Savak, is as brutal as the Gestapo. 1954. Guatemala. The CIA overthrows a democratically elected Jacob Arbenz in a military coup. Arbenz has threatened to nationalize the Rockefeller-owned United Fruit Company, in which CIA director Alan Dulles also owns stock. Arbenz is replaced with a series of right-wing dictators, whose bloodthirsty policies will kill over 100,000 Guatemalans within the next 40 years. North Vietnam CIA officer Edward Lansdale spends four years trying to overthrow the communist government of North Vietnam using all the usual methods. The CIA also attempts to legitimize a tyrannical puppet regime in South Vietnam, headed by Ngo Dinh Daim. These efforts fail to win the hearts and minds of the South Vietnamese because the Daim government is opposed to troop democracy, land reform, and poverty reduction measures. The CIA's continuing failures result in the escalating American intervention, culminating into the Vietnam War. 1956. Hungary. Radio Free Europe incites Hungary to revolt by broadcasting Khrushchev's secret speech in which he denounced Stalin. It also hints that American aid will help the Hungarians fight. This aid fails to happen as Hungarians launch a doomed armed revolt, which only invites a major Soviet invasion. The conflict kills 7,000 Soviets and 30,000 Hungarians. 1957. Laos. The CIA carries out approximately one military coup per year trying to nullify Laos' democratic elections. The problem is that Pathet Lao, a leftist group with enough popular support to be a member of any coalition government. In the late 50s, the CIA even creates a clandestine army of Asian mercenaries to attack the Pathet Lao. After the CIA's army suffers numerous defeats, the U.S. starts bombing, dropping more bombs on Laos than all the U.S. bombs dropped during World War II. A quarter of all Laotians will eventually become refugees, many living in caves. 1959, Haiti. The CIA helps Papa Doc Duvalier become dictator of Haiti. He creates his own private police force, the Tantan Macouts, who terrorize the population with machetes. They will kill over 100,000 people during his reign. The U.S. does not protest their human rights record. 1961, the Bay of Pigs. The CIA sends 1,500 Cuban exiles to invade Fidel Castro's Cuba. But Operation Mongoose fails due to poor planning, security, and backing. The planners had imagined that the invasion will spark a popular uprising against Castro, which never happens. 
A promised American airstrike also never occurs. This is the CIA's first public setback, causing President Kennedy to fire the CIA director Alan Dulez. Dominican Republic The CIA assassinates Rafael Trujillo, a murderous dictator Washington has supported since 1930. Trujillo's business interests have grown so large, about 60% of the economy, that they have begun competing with American business interests. Ecuador The CIA-backed military forces the democratically elected President Jose Velasco to resign. Vice President Carlos Arosmano replaces him. The CIA fills a now vacant vice presidency with its own man. Congo The CIA assassinates the democratically elected Patrice Lumumba. However, public support for Lumumba's politics runs so high that the CIA cannot clearly install his opponents in power. Four years of political turmoil follow. 1963 Dominican Republic the CIA overthrows the democratically elected Juan Bosch in a military coup. The CIA installs a repressive right-wing junta. Ecuador A CIA-backed military coup overthrows President Orozmana, whose independent, not socialist, policies have become unacceptable to Washington. A military junta assumes command, cancels the 1964 elections, and begins abusing human rights. 1964 Brazil a CIA-backed military coup overthrows the democratically elected government of Brazil. The junta that replaces it will, in the next two decades, become one of the most bloodthirsty in history. General Castillo Branco will create Latin America's first death squads, or bands of secret police who hunt down communists for torture, interrogation, and murder. Often these communists are no more than Branco's political opponents. Later it is revealed that the CIA trains these death squads. 1965, Indonesia. The CIA overthrows a democratically elected Sukarno with a military coup. The CIA has been trying to eliminate Sukarno since 1957, using everything from attempted assassination to sexual intrigue for nothing more than declaring his neutrality during the Cold War. His successor, General Suharto, will massacre between 500,000 to 1 million civilians accused of being communists. The CIA supplies the names of countless suspects. Dominican Republic A popular rebellion breaks out, promising to reinstall Juan Bosch as the country's elected leader. The revolution is crushed when U.S. Marines land to uphold the military regime by force. The CIA directs everything behind the scenes. 1968 Bolivia A CIA-organized military operation captures the legendary guerrilla tactical expert Che Guevara. I made a quick two minute video about his tactics which I'll put in the description. The CIA wants to keep him alive for interrogation, but the Bolivian government quickly executes him to prevent worldwide calls for clemency. 1969 Uruguay The notorious CIA torturer Dan Mitrione arrives in Uruguay, a country torn with political strife. Whereas right wing forces previously used torture only as a last resort, Mitrione convinces them to use it as a routine, widespread practice. The precise pain in the precise place in the precise amount for the desired effect is his motto. The torture techniques he teaches to death squads rivals the Nazis. He eventually becomes so feared that the revolutionaries will kidnap him and murder him a year later. 1970, Cambodia. The CIA overthrows Prince Sahonik, who is popular among Cambodians for keeping them out of the Vietnam War. He is replaced by CIA puppet La Nol who immediately throws Cambodian troops into battle. This unpopular move strengthens once minor opposition parties like the Khmer Rogue, who achieves power in 1975 and massacres millions of its own people. 1971, Bolivia. After half a decade of CIA-inspired political turmoil, a CIA-backed military coup overthrows the leftist president, Juan Torres. In the next two years, dictator Hugo Banzer will have over 2,000 political opponents arrested without trial then tortured, and then executed. 1975, Australia. The CIA helps topple the democratically elected, left-leaning government of Prime Minister Edward Whitlam. The CIA does this by giving an ultimatum to its Governor General, John Kerr. Kerr, a longtime CIA collaborator, exercises his constitutional right to dissolve the Whitlam government. The Governor General is a largely ceremonial position appointed by the Queen, the Prime Minister is democratically elected. The use of this archaic and never used law stuns the nation. Angola 
Eager to demonstrate American military resolve after its defeat in Vietnam, the CIA launches a CIA-backed war in Angola. Angola is a country of little strategic importance and not seriously threatened by communism. The CIA backs a brutal leader of UNITAS, Jonas Savimbi. This polarizes Angolan politics and drives his opponents into the arms of Cuba and the Soviet Union for survival. Congress cuts off the funds in 1976, but the CIA is able to run the war off the books until 1984, when funding is legalized again. This entirely pointless war kills over 300,000 Angolans. 1979, Iran. The CIA fails to predict the fall of the Shah of Iran, a longtime CIA puppet, and the rise of Muslim fundamentalists who are furious at the CIA's backing of the Savak, the Shah's bloodthirsty secret police. In revenge, the Muslims take 52 Americans hostage in the U.S. Embassy in Tehran. Afghanistan. The Soviets invade Afghanistan. The CIA immediately begins supplying arms to any faction willing to fight the occupying Soviets. Such indiscriminate arming means that when the Soviets leave Afghanistan, civil war will erupt. Also, fanatical Muslim extremists now possess state-of-the-art weaponry. One of these is Sheikh Abdel Rahman, who will become involved in the World Trade Center bombing in New York. 1980, El Salvador. Oscar Romero pleads with President Carter, Christian to Christian, to stop aiding the military government slaughtering his people. Carter refuses. Shortly afterwards, a right-wing leader shoots Romero through his heart, with Romero saying his mass. The country soon dissolves into a civil war, with the peasants in the hills fighting against the military government. The CIA supply the government with overwhelming military and intelligence superiority. CIA-trained death squads roam the countryside, committing atrocities like that of El Mazat in 1982, where they massacre between 700 and 1,000 men. By 1992, around 63 Salvadorans will be killed. 1981. The Iran-Contra scandal begins. The CIA begins selling arms to the Khamenei government of Iran, who were the subject of an arms embargo, using the profits to arm the Contras fighting the Sandinista government in Nicaragua. President Reagan vows that the Sandinistas will be pressured until they say uncle. The CIA's Freedom Fighters Manual dispersed to the Contras includes instruction on economic sabotage, propaganda, extortion, bribery, blackmail, interrogation, torture, murder, and political assassination. 1983, Honduras. The CIA gives Honduran military officers the Human Resource Exploitation Training Manual, which teaches how to torture people. Honduras Notorious Battalion 316 then uses these techniques, with the CIA's full knowledge, on thousands of leftists. At least 184 are murdered. 1984, the Bolin Amendments are passed. These amendments have reduced CIA aid to the Contras. The last one cuts it off completely. However, CIA Director William Casey is already prepared to hand off the operation to Colonel Oliver North, who illegally continues supplying the Contras through the CIA's informal, secret, and self-financing network. This includes humanitarian aid donated and military aid funded by Iranian arms sales. 1986. A C-123 transport plane carrying military supplies to the Contras is shot down. The lone survivor turns out to be a CIA employee, as are the two dead pilots. The airplane belongs to the Southern Air Transport, a CIA front. The incident makes a mockery of President Reagan's claims that the CIA is not illegally arming the Contras. Iran-Contra Scandal Although the details have long been known, the Iran-Contra Scandal finally captures the media's attention in 1986. Congress holds hearings and several key figures lie under oath to protect the intelligence community. CIA Director William Casey dies of brain cancer before Congress can question him. All reforms enacted by Congress after the scandal are purely cosmetic. 1989, Panama. The U.S. invades Panama to overthrow a dictator of its own making, General Manuel Noriega. Noriega has been on the CIA's payroll since 1966 and has been transporting drugs with the CIA's knowledge since 1982. By the late 80s, Noriega's growing independence have angered Washington. So, out he goes. 1991, the Gulf War. The US liberates Kuwait from Iraq, but Iraq's dictator, 
Saddam Hussein is another creature of the CIA. With United States encouragement, Hussein invaded Iran in 1980. During this costly eight-year war, the CIA built up Hussein's forces with sophisticated arms, intelligence, training, and financial backing. This cemented Hussein's power at home, allowing him to crush a many internal rebellions that erupted from time to time, sometimes with poisonous it also gave him all the military might he needed to conduct further adventurism in Kuwait, for example. The Fall of the Soviet Union The CIA fails to predict this most important event of the Cold War. This suggests that it has been so busy undermining governments that it hasn't been doing its primary job, gathering and analyzing information. The fall of the Soviet Union also robs the CIA of its reason for existence, fighting communism. This leads some to accuse the CIA of intentionally failing to predict the downfall of the Soviet Union. Curiously, the intelligence community's budget is not significantly reduced after the demise of communism. This video is by far the hardest video I have made yet, and if you made it this far, please hit that like button. And if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe. This video alone took me over a week of daily researching of over 100 sites and articles, as well as editing to complete. Thank you so much for watching.